By 1946, relations were worsening between the United States and the Soviet Union over issues such as Eastern Europe, Germany, and the atomic bomb. Confused and perplexed, H. Freeman Matthews, head of the European desk at the State Department, contacted the American Embassy in Moscow for suggestions. On February the 22nd, 1946, he received from the Embassy Charge des Affaires, George F. Kennan, what has been called the most influential telegram ever sent inside the government, the Long Telegram. Kennan was a career foreign service officer who was considered an expert on Russia and the Soviet Union. In this message, he explained his view of the behavior of the Soviets in graphic terms. They were hard to get along with because beneath their neurotic view of world affairs lay traditional Russian fear of foreigners and insecurity. They also used the fig leaf of Marxism to protect their personal power by continuous foreign expansion. Kennan stressed that the United States could not negotiate with them, that they were, according to him, living in an atmosphere of oriental secretiveness and conspiracy and a disrespect for objective truth. Kennan's conclusions were that all Soviet actions would be negative and destructive in character. But on the other hand, they were highly sensitive to the logic of force. Kennan believed that the Russians can easily withdraw and usually do when strong resistance is encountered at any point. Kennan was, in a sense, promoting his future policy of containment. The American attempt to stop future Soviet expansionism by political, economic, and military means. There is also little doubt that Kennan connected what he viewed as a Soviet threat with American reform at home. Kennan's telegram spread throughout the United States government, first reaching American ambassador to Russia, Averill Harriman and would, would within a few weeks become the official policy of American policymakers in fighting the Cold War, thanks in part to Secretary of the Navy James Forrestal, who reproduced it and in the later words of Kennan, evidently made it required reading for hundreds if not thousands of higher officers in the armed forces. Pressure was now put on the Soviet Union by the United States to evacuate northern Iran, future loans for democratic but Soviet-leaning Czechoslovakia were cut off, and plans were beginning to be put into place to assist Turkey and Greece. This would be a major part of U.S. foreign policy for the next 50 years. There are a variety of reasons why Kennan's telegram made such an impact. One reason must be the diplomat's writing style. Kennan used metaphors that attracted the attention of government higher-ups. Another reason must be that the cable arrived in Washington during a crucial time when officials were searching for a clear explanation of Soviet behavior and American response. George Kennan's telegram had a great impact in radically changing American foreign policy in the post-war period.